COVID-19. There's no cure for this thing yet. Just, you know, bleach or hydroxychloroquine will kill you before they kill the virus. <laughs> but as some parts in the world starts to reopen, people are counting on things like good hygiene, their immune system, and something they keep hearing about, a vaccine. So where are we with the vaccine? The WHO reports that there are now 125 candidate vaccines in development, but only 10 are in clinical evaluation, meaning they are being tested on humans. Among those, five are from China, four from the US, and one from the UK. Chinese scientists were the first to reach the phase two trials in the world. Medical journal The Lancet says China's phase one trial results have been found to be safe, well tolerated, and are able to generate an immune response. It represents an important milestone. Chinese authorities said the second phase of clinical trials are expected to be completed by July. After that, comes phase three, the last phase. A challenge for Chinese researchers in particular is that each time a clinical trial moves on to the next round, more candidates are needed. But China doesn't have enough COVID-19 patients since China has pretty much contained the epidemic. So in order to have a large and stable pool of COVID-19 patients, Chinese researchers may have to go to other countries to carry out the phase three trial, as suggested by China's medical expert, Dr. Zhang Wenhan. All in all, it could still take at least 18 months before vaccine is mass-produced. The estimate was shared by both China's top respiratory expert Dr. Zhou Nanshan and U.S. infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci. The final question, can the vaccine solve the problem once and for all? According to Dr. Anthony Fauci, the answer is not exactly. You see, the immune systems of people above 65 may not respond as well to vaccination as younger people. And it takes time for vaccine to produce antibodies in us. We could still get sick during that time. Now we know vaccine may not provide a perfect solution, but it still stands as the best way for us to get herd immunity against the virus. As scientists and researchers around the world are racing against time in search of an ideal vaccine, China has promised to make its vaccine a global public good once available. After all, global coordination and cooperation is just as much needed as a vaccine to protect humanity against this common enemy.